in the bottom left. Playing Wolfar, really sticking with it is MVA Kim. And Mahinder going back to Wolfar for game three. On Pirate's Curse. So, I guess Mahinder was feeling comfortable in the mirror again. Although, one with Tenry, so. Possibly we saw a Tenry ban come out from MVA Kim. That's true. Uh. This is another map. I think, uh, let's say Mahindra does well on this. Wolfar does well on this map. Uh, definitely a lot of uh, early pressure you can put on your opponent. The, the strongholds are very close together in the center, so. Although I'd say, uh, like, once it. Uh, the game gets past the early turns. Wolfar can actually struggle a lot on this map because uh, there's not many safe tiles to stand on, and there tends to be big units. So usually the commander can't really afford to step up to to do damage or use a melee group. Yeah, that is true. And also, there's only three water tiles on this map. Um, and a very limited amount of flagstone as well, actually, looking at it. So. Wolfar doesn't have the best opportunities to one-shot enemy units. I think uh, MVA game has been a little bit ahead on economy, and this is one of these maps where uh, a, a small lead can result in a golem spam, which... Uh, we're starting to see right there. Yeah, although we are seeing Mahinder fight back there. All the way up at 1600 gold. We're going to see Dragon come out. Or against. Oh no, gets his own golem. Mm, there was only one mage, so maybe Dragon was better, but that really depends how you want to play it. I guess the dragon wouldn't have many uh, targets for pressure. Also, we're seeing uh, Mohinder building the golem from the back racks, which is really interesting. He looks like he's under a ton of pressure. Just yeah, up because so much his, his golem aren't uh, at the front yet, so they can't be active, which means MVA game has these few turns of uh, supremacy, basically. And we see he's sending that knight all the way in the corner. His golems are really putting it work. And Mohinder can't really respond yet. This knight is going to be trouble for quite a long time, unless he sends the golem there. But that's also a bad option, so I feel like MVA game really is making the best out of his position right now. Yeah, I guess Mahindra builds spears, and I think that's a good choice because he needs... Even if it's slow, he needs a unit that can go and deal with that knight. But uh, MVA Kim has his own spears and has balloon as well to get those around. And yeah, like Mahindra doesn't have a balloon for that spear quite far back, like it will get there eventually. Ooh, he's being aggressive this turn. Lambs in, takes down. Ooh, gets a high roll actually. <laughs> he got a plus five over these two hits on the golem. Although I guess he could have wolf Groove to confirm the kill, but that's still pretty good for him. I think he kind of needs to push a little bit into MVAKM, otherwise uh, he's going to lose in the long run. But... Yeah, Vic can still got a pretty good force behind him, so even if Mohinder does attack, it's going to be difficult to uh, break through this army. He's, he's slowly retaking the right-hand side, but 
yeah, that economic loss is pretty huge. Eof comes in. Will that reach the water? It will. Does a bit of damage to that water village as well. So, gets a pick off. Yep. And I guess in, in on this map, like, you need to be... I think you need to be past the middle point to groove golems into the water as Wolfar. So, if you're in your opponent's uh, half of the map, he can't uh, kill your golems. Which is Ooh, really interesting. This might Ooh, be lethal but... though. Yeah. Mage, yeah. And the heart. And the overextends in order to get put some pressure back on. But it costs him the game. Yeah, that's a little bit what I was talking about at the beginning, that... Uh... Past the early game, Wolfar can struggle because he can, like, when he goes into Groove, he has a very high chance of dying to turn right afterwards. Yeah, yeah. The army need follow up needs to be dealing like a lot more damage. And uh, yeah, there was a full health golem, a full health mage, and a full health commander within striking range of the counter attack. So. Yeah, that was a lot. The MVAKM goes on. They make they qualify for the top 16. So we will see them next month in the finals event. And Mahinder, I believe, can still make it through the ladder qualifier. So they're not out yet. We could definitely see them come through that event. So Yep, there's a lot of players that uh didn't quite make it in this event, but are gonna are gonna be uh, pretty present on the ladder. <laughs> I feel. <laughs> yep. So you know we're doing another one of these again this year. So should people not make it through, uh, there will always be a chance later down the line. And yeah, T time saying ladder and qualifiers will could be intense. I think there will be. I think we're gonna see some uh yeah i mean there's already like sedge and mohinder in in it so you know it's gonna be <laughs> pretty intense event yeah 